Seite liveinspired.co.za and in this video I am going to be sharing invaluable tips with you today on how you can improve the quality of all your relationships. So if you are someone who maybe struggles with relationships a little bit and we all do to some level then these are tips and this is advice that you definitely want to stay tuned for. Relationships is a huge topic. The truth of the matter is that the reason that we get into any relationship, especially intimate relationships, is because we're looking for something. We like the way somebody makes us feel about ourselves, makes us feel about our life and so on. And as much as we say that it's unconditional love, it isn't really because we are looking for that relationship to offer us something, whether it's support, whether it's love, whether it's affection, validation, whatever it is, recognition, we want someone to share our lives with. Relationships are all about relating and about what we get out of it and what we're able to give to the relationship as well. And in the beginning phases of the relationship, this happens very easily. There's something that's called a honeymoon effect. And this is something that Dr. Bruce Lipton has written extensively about. Check out the description box below and I'll link uh, more information on his work. The honeymoon effect describes what happens to us chemically when we fall in love and we meet a new partner. And in the beginning, there literally is this honeymoon effect. Everything is going smoothly. We really like each other. We bring out the best in each other. But once this starts to wear off and eventually it does what happens is we're just left with this human being who's flawed just like us who's looking for love and approval just like us and we tend to bring out in each other sometimes the worst parts of ourselves and we tend to become very disappointed and disillusioned with the whole idea of love and relationships so there are many reasons why we end up feeling unfulfilled in a relationship, like we're not getting what we actually wanted from it. The two that I'm going to focus on today are absolutely critical to understand. The first one is most of us have absolutely no idea what makes us happy. We don't even know what we want. We turn towards our partner and we say, you're not giving me this, you're not giving me that, you're not giving me affection, you're not giving me love, you're not giving me appreciation and acknowledgement. But we don't know what those things mean to us. Those are all very big, broad concepts. And if we can't clearly define exactly how we like receiving that, then chances are our partner can't figure it out either. Because as much as our partners love us, they're not mind readers or therapists. They're just regular people who are trying to do the best that they can. There's a concept called the five love languages and it's very easily available. Again, I will link the description down below on how you can go ahead and take the test. It's absolutely free. Now, the five love languages was developed by a therapist. This concept proposes that all of us have very specific ways that we enjoy being loved in relationships. And all of us are different in the way that we like to receive love. And the way that we like to receive love is often the way that we give love. So there are different ones. There's words of appreciation. So maybe you like being told that you look beautiful or that you're so loving or you're so wonderful. You like receiving words of acknowledgement and praise. For other people, that might not be such a big deal. You enjoy it when your partner actually shows you by their action that they care, care about you. So this is called acts of service. And when you look into the five love languages, it explains it all in detail. There's even a book that you could read if you want to investigate this further. I highly, highly recommend it. It's an excellent resource tool for all couples to help you to improve your relationship. So the acts of service is about doing stuff for your partner. So things like loading up the dishwasher, helping them clean up, maybe taking their car for a wash, um, helping them out with chores and so on. People who enjoy receiving acts of service do things to help lighten their partner's load because they feel like action speaks louder than words. And then you have Affection. Some people thrive on physical affection. They need physical affection from their partners in order to feel loved, in order to feel nurtured. Being clear about what your love language makes it a little bit easier because then you start to understand how you like to receive love. So instead of telling your partner, you don't take care of me, you don't make an effort, you're not there for me, to which your partner says, but I'm trying the best that I can, you can actually be specific about it and say, I really like it when you say this, or I really like it when you do this. 
and you yourself are aware of what makes you happy and what needs you need fulfilled in a relationship. Now, why is this so important? I'm going to explain it a little bit. Imagine you go into a restaurant, you're hungry, it's a really good restaurant, you've had rave reviews, and you're really looking forward to a sumptuous, enjoyable meal. So you go in, you have a seat, the waiter comes through, very friendly, offers you the menu, and asks you what you would like to eat. And you go, hmm, I'm not quite sure, but just make me something delicious. I've heard wonderful things about you guys. Make me something wonderful. So the waiter goes, of course, um, what do you like? Do you like meat? Do you like chicken? Do you like seafood? Are you into vegetarian? And you go, mm, I don't really know. I'm, I'm not really sure what I like. Just make me something. So the waiter goes along, chats to the chef, and the chef thinks, okay, he's going to make his best meal something amazing. He pours his love and his heart and his soul and his expertise into this dish and out comes the waiter and presents it to you. You take your first bite and you just go, this is terrible. I hate it. And the waiter goes, what's wrong? Is there something the matter? And you say, no, I hate shellfish. I don't eat shellfish. And the waiter says, but you said, give us your best, but you said, give you your, give you the best dish. And you say, yeah, but I didn't like shellfish. Who likes shellfish? In this instance, it's not about the fact that the, the chef's cooking is not good or that his expertise was not enough. It's just that you were not clear with yourself about what you actually liked and enjoyed and therefore you were not clear with the other people. So it's very difficult for our partners to give us what we need when we ourselves are not sure what we need. Because what happens when you understand this idea of the love, five love languages, we tend to give love in the way that we like to receive love. So for instance, if I like to receive words of affection and my partner likes to receive acts of service, I will say lots of wonderful things. You're so amazing. I appreciate you so much. You're so important to me. And my partner says, but you don't show me. You don't do anything for me. And you're thinking, well, I'm doing the best that I can here. I don't know what more to give. And likewise, here my partner will be doing things for me, helping out around the house. And I'm thinking, why doesn't he spend more time with me? Why doesn't he tell me that I look amazing? Why doesn't he say things that make me feel good and I feel unacknowledged and unappreciated? So it's absolutely vital to have some level of self-awareness, to understand ourselves a little bit, to understand what we need in order to feel validated and to feel good. Once we understand this, we're able to communicate it better to our partners. And believe it or not, if you're in a loving relationship, your partner actually wants to meet you halfway. They actually want to give you what you want to receive and vice versa. You can become more attuned into understanding what your partner needs, how they like to feel nurtured, how they like to feel taken care of. So con concepts like love and appreciation and acknowledgement and support are really big concepts and they have differing meanings to different people. So it's really important to have that level of self-awareness so that you can start to look into yourself and see how do I like to experience these things? And likewise, you can actually go forward and look into how your partner likes to receive the same. And you can start to see how the small thing can be really powerful in helping to improve the quality of your relationship. The second reason why we tend to have issues in our relationships and feel like we're not getting what we need is that a lot of us are not open to receiving. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, in order to be able to receive, we have to be open to receiving. And you're here you are saying, Zaida, what are you talking about? I love to receive. I love feeling validated. I love feeling acknowledged. Okay, there are some of us who are okay with that, but there are, I can't tell you in my practice how many women especially I meet who are just not comfortable with the idea of receiving. They give and give and give, they give to everyone and they say, but nobody takes care of me. Nobody gives anything to me. I don't receive anything back. And the truth is, it's not necessarily that their partners don't want to give back to them. It's that they're just not open to receiving. They refuse to take any help. They refuse to take any support. And so their partners kind of get tired of trying and just kind of leave them to do it on their own. 
So the question I want you to ask yourself today is how open are you to receiving? Something as simple as receiving a compliment. When somebody tells you, you look lovely today or that that shirt looks really good on you, do you just go, oh, this whole thing, I've had it forever, I got it at a sale and you know, you just kind of waffle on about it. Or can you just sit with that and receive the compliment fully and just say, thank you. If we want to receive better in our relationships, because all relationships are about giving and receiving, and when we're not open to receiving well, that's when we go into resentment, and that's when we feel like no one is there for us, and we tend to feel like the victim and the sacrificial lamb. But how open are we to receiving, especially women? How open are you to receiving? So this is something that you want to explore within yourself. Ask yourself a few questions around it, maybe do a bit of journaling, and you may be surprised at what you find. I hope that you have found this information valuable. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to share it with a family member or friend who you think you could benefit. And remember to subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below to get more content just like this. And remember, it's absolutely free to subscribe, so there's no reason not to do it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.